Why perching birds do not get electrocuted? Have you wondered why birds do not get electrocuted when they perch on electric wires? When a bird perches on a live wire that is generally not insulated, its body acquires the same voltage as the wire. Why doesn't the current flow through the bird though it is perching on a live wire? This is because the circuit is not complete. The circuit is incomplete as no current flows through the body of the bird which is a poor conductor as compared to the copper wire on which it is perching. And also because electric current always chooses a path of low resistance. Birds can also get electrocuted. Let's understand how. Observe the diagram displayed here. Suppose the wing or the claw of the bird sitting on the live wire comes in contact with the ground wire. Then the circuit becomes complete and it gets electrocuted. The bird can also get electrocuted if it perches on the wire as shown here. This is because the bird is in contact with the live wire as well as the grounded pole, thereby completing the circuit. How to protect birds from getting electrocuted? Power lines can be made less dangerous by widening the gap between the conducting and the ground wires, insulating wires and metal parts, and by moving wires farther away from the pole tops. Can you guess why a squirrel can run across an electrical line but dies when its foot makes contact with the grounded transformer on the pole at the end of the wire? Drivers and passengers are warned to stay inside the car if it runs into a hanging life power line. Inside the car you are protected by the car's four rubber tires which act as insulators between the car and the ground. Touching the ground with your feet would complete the circuit. Electrons would flow from the wire into the car and through you into the earth. 